from all around your lawn. I'm here to tell you how football is strong. I'm here with uh, Lee Hardy, just uh, standing on the boundary line here, enjoying the uh, the Bannockburn twos at the moment. But uh, welcome back to Bannockburn, Lee. It's obviously um, an exciting weekend for, for country football, uh, given the 150 years uh, celebrations that are that are going on at the moment. Yeah, no, yeah, it's always good to uh, come back to the local club and see, uh, obviously, all of the guys I grew up with as a kid and, and see them play and uh, see how they've developed over the years, but well, I've been away. Now, I know that, uh, obviously, a lot of the, the Bannockburn stalwarts and so forth would know your, your history and your path to the AFL, but perhaps for, for some of those listeners out there that might know, not know you too well, uh, tell us a little bit about your junior career and, and how you sort of started playing at Bannockburn. Yeah, no, I grew up in uh, Teesdale, just down the road, 10 k's down the road, but uh, then coming to, to Bannockburn... Uh, you know, from under 15s and then uh, I've b b played junior footy under 13s and 12s elsewhere um, and then yeah it's gone from there under 15s and played a couple of senior games um, when I sort of the 16 under 16s and then went to the John Falcons and then uh, yeah it's gone from there. Now uh, in that time you mentioned that uh, you played a bit of senior footy here and I think you started when you were about 15 or 16 years old and you actually played in a premiership what was that like at such an early age playing in a flag? Yeah, it's, it's actually the last flag I played in, so that was in 97, so it's been a long time between drinks between and uh, even getting into a grand final, so you sort of didn't take it for granted, you sort of took it a little bit for granted back then because I was only 16 and stuff like that, so worked hard for another 10 or 12 years and haven't had the glory of running out in the grand final day again, so it's been a bit disappointing, but uh, no, that was, a, that was a good memory and uh, I, was, I was only, you know, I think I was in year 11 at 12, or year 11 at school, so I <laughs> went to school with a medal around my neck the next day, but... <laughs> That was, uh, yeah, that was a good honour, I suppose. And you couldn't celebrate with a few frothies, unfortunately, after the game, more importantly. Um, you obviously then went on to play for the Falcons, and then you were rookie listed, is that right? A rookie drafted to North Melbourne at that point? Yeah, I was uh, missed, missed all the drafts and actually played at Geelong uh, just on the sub list first, and then uh, was, was rookie listed to North Melbourne in, in 2001, and then uh, elevated at the end of that season, and then, uh, yeah, been there since uh, 2001. And, and what was that like? I mean, was it your childhood dream to play AFL footy? Is that what you'd always aspired to? I mean, were you were you a North Melbourne supporter when you were a little kid? Or no, no, I was obviously grew up in Geelong, so back for Geelong. That's that's just what it was. But uh, yeah, always always wanted to play to play footy. Um, but then obviously you got the setbacks of early of not being drafted and stuff like that. But um, yeah, just kept plugging away and doing what I did, and um, things sort of turned my way. And you know, very thankful for what's happened. 2006 uh, towards the end of the season wasn't such a, a great year for you obviously uh, requiring a knee reconstruction tell us about that process I mean how difficult is it to to sit out pretty much a full year of football and obviously watch everyone out there you know doing their thing and, and then you obviously being sidelined and having to go through that whole recovery phase yeah it was a weird sort of one it was the last last main training session of, of before round 22 uh, we hadn't made the finals and uh yeah, I reckon it was probably five minutes ago in training, and uh, yeah, just did a normal thing you'd do at training, and uh, did my knee, walked off shattered, um, got the reconstruction a week and a half sort of later, and then was pretty much, you know, laid up in bed for the first couple of weeks, you can't move, it's probably the most depressing time of your life, those first couple of weeks, but then after that you do something different, you know, every day, and being able to do everything, something different new each week and stuff like that, so it's a big process, I was back in sort of nine and a half months, Probably could have played it nine months, but we waited an extra couple of weeks. Got the right the right game that I wanted to play in, um, and started back. So I was lucky enough to play sort of after the 40 week mark, and uh, got a I think got eight or nine VFL games in, and they played finals right up to the prelim um, before the Geelong VFL knocked us off. Um, I was playing for Ballarat, so that was good. Just to obviously it just. If we hadn't played finals, I might only played four or five games, and uh, might have been a bit of a wasted year. But to play a bit of finals, and and then I was actually in an emergency for the last couple of finals for the Kangaroos senior team as well, which is a bit of an honour, and uh, was was pretty close to getting the game towards the end. But then you know, going into this year, the full pre-season, being able to do everything, um, noticed to really get the speed, and and been just been able to cut and change direction like I used to be able to. It's been the major improvement after the so long. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a change of roles this year, obviously going to the back line after being forward all my life and uh, really enjoying the challenge of each week not knowing or well, knowing who I'm going to be on but um, learning what they sort of do and and their tricks and what they're thinking at certain times and stuff like that. So it's always a challenge but uh, it's been a real good change for me. 
Do you uh, feel that you're more comfortable now in the back line? Is it, is it where you think that you're going to play at the rest of your footy? I mean, I know a lot of the times you don't have much of a choice because the coach tells you where you're going to play and you have to kind of deal with it. But, uh, but you know, is that where you'd prefer to be playing at this stage in your career? Yeah, at this stage, yeah. It's, I've really enjoyed the challenge of, of each week. Something, something new gets thrown at you. So that's what I've liked. It's refreshed me. And, um, yeah, I'm thankful that coach actually gave me the chance to go back there and play. And obviously all the smaller forward types have done their job down forward and hopefully uh, I'm not needed down there anymore and I can just um, go into my role you know, across half back and, and maybe across into the wing at some stages but uh, I'm really enjoying the challenge. Now let's talk about North Melbourne for a second, or, or the Kangaroos as they're now known. Uh, they've been in the in the headlines a lot this uh, this year for various different reasons. But I want to throw a couple of things at you. First of all, relocation. Do, do the players, you know, have any particular position or, or view on that? Are you just happy to be playing AFL footy? Or yeah, no, it was it was, it was an itch, interesting situation that they they put us into. But I uh, was just glad that it was all done and dusted pretty quickly. Decided to stay, and and the club's gone forward and. You know, I think we've got to nearly 34,000 members. We're definitely 33,500 members, up from 23,000 last year. So everyone in Victoria has obviously jumped in behind us and want us to be there. So on field, you know, we're going pretty well. We probably could have won a couple more games than, than we have. But, uh, you know, we're sort of at that stage where we're three and three in a draw. We're sort of just in the middle of the road. So the next sort of patch of, you know, six to seven games will determine where we go this year. And... Um, I think the boys are looking forward to the challenge of, you know, obviously having this weekend off, refresh a bit, and I think the whole AFL will do that anyway, but, um, and then get stuck in this next sort of seven weeks before you sort of get another break down the track. So that's where, that's where we're at at the moment. Wayne Carey uh, not inducted into the uh, Hall of Fame. Sorry, I have to ask everyone. Everyone wants to know the answer, and I'm sure everybody has a, an, an opinion on Wayne Carey because he has been in the press a lot for perhaps doing the wrong things. But what's your view on that? Do you think that you know his his merits on field warrant him being, um, you know, in being being inducted into the Hall of Fame, or do you think that um, you know the off-field kind of sagas that seem to surround him, you know, perhaps you know don't warrant him being in there just now? Yeah, no. I mean, obviously, it's just, it's a total AFL call on that one, but. Uh for on field and stuff like that, there's, I got to play one year with him and and seen what he was like and stuff like that. So I, the, everyone knows that he's down the track. He's going to be in the Hall of Fame. There's no doubt about that. So um, it's only a matter of time. Obviously, some players at the weight as well. So um, I'm predicting the next couple of years, Wayne Carey will be one of those people for sure. Absolutely. Um, just finally, uh, on field as well with, with North Melbourne, there's been a few decisions and a few few games that have uh, that have gone a bit uh, awry, should we say, uh, so far this season. What's your take on, on some of those instances? Yeah, the draw was a weird one. And, uh, a couple of our boys thought that we'd won the game. I knew, I knew it was a draw from all, from all the way through because I was looking at the scoreboard thinking, God, we've only got a couple more points from where they're, they're coming at us. But, uh, you know, that was an interesting one. Obviously, we did, oh, I didn't know at the time what was, what was sort of going on that come out of it after that but that wasn't obviously went to the AFL again and they make the decision so we uh we abide by what the AFL say and um I don't think they would have deliberately you know done you know put 90 people on the field it was a total mistake so um yeah that's been done we've got the two points it's better than no points I suppose and we just move on and hopefully those two points will work for us later in the year. Absolutely. What's the future hold for you then, uh, you know, after football? I mean, you've still obviously got a few more years left yet and hopefully there's a premiership in there that you can savour at some point. But, uh, you know, what's your plans after football? Uh, well, lucky enough, well, not lucky that I did my knee, but uh, lucky enough when I did do my knee that I went away and did a bit of um, study. So I'm a qualified personal trainer and uh, I got my own personal training business that uh, that's started slowly, but we're going to we're building it up in the, in the next sort of couple of months. Um, and I've, so I'm doing that sort of during the weeks. Um, and now, and this year, I've just gone back to Union uh, doing exercise science. Um, so down the track, it's the fitness industry is where I want to be and, and what I see myself doing. So if that's, you know, working as a fitness coach in, at the AFL sort of level or... Or at Bannockburn, yeah, head trainer at Bannockburn sounds pretty good too. Yeah, I, I'm not sure about being a trainer, but I might be able to uh, run the boys and get, get them fit anyway. A few of them boys need, like, they might need some more running in their legs, <laughs> but... Uh, no, down the track, that's yeah, it's definitely something in the fitness fitness industry where I can help people, you know, achieve what they want to achieve, and and my knowledge from the past can can rub off on them. That that's what I want to do. Yeah. Absolutely.